Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is finding these videos useful. And in today's video I would be discussing my experience as a research intern at IIT Delhi and Triple IIT Delhi. So let's begin. As usual the video is segregated into the following sections. My experience, requirements, preparation and application procedure and a brief overview of the interview process and you'll find the timestamps for each section in the description below just in case you want to jump to some particular section so feel free to do that talking about my experience so I, I'm making a combined video because the experience at both the institutes was more or less similar at Triple IT, I worked under the guidance of Dr. Mukesh Mohenia, and at IIT, our work was supervised by Dr. Rajiv Shore and Dr. Chetan Aroda. Working on research project was a really enriching experience for me because you get a chance to understand all the existing literature and technology before you can even actually start working. And it is otherwise highly unlikely that someone would understand a concept to this kind of depth. During our project, we had regular meetings and brainstorming sessions scheduled for presenting our approach and discussing any pending roadblocks and what would be our next steps. Now, these meetings were like daily stand-ups, but instead of being conducted daily, they were scheduled weekly. And during these meetings, we had to reason out everything we did in our research till date and we had to come ready with the mathematical and logical explanation for a proposed approach and the programming part and obtaining the result part went on simultaneously with all these brainstorming sessions and like when we had to come ready with the mathematical and logical explanation we had to come with the empir empirical data as well to support whatever we are trying to say or whatever architecture we have come up with. Now, af uh, after we were done with our project, we published our work in some top tier peer reviewed journals and conferences. And the main part was we also received letter of recommendations from our mentors. Now, I strongly believe that the LORs I obtained are really valuable as the professors are highly established in their fields and have done some exceptional work in their time and I, and from experience i can also say that i last to last year i got shortlisted for the uber ai residency program and i strongly believe that it was due to the lors i submitted and because otherwise my profile wasn't really strong in the field of deep learning and after and when you successfully complete the projects or the research you're working on, it, it gives you a great sense of accomplishment because you have actually done something impactful. And when I say impactful, it is because someone is going to build up on your work in the future or maybe directly use your work. And I am saying that because we have received, started receiving citations on our work as well. So it, it feels that we have done something impactful during those time. Moving on to the requirements part. Now while applying in IITs, the good GPA is always a plus point. Uh, higher the GPA, higher the chance that a professor will re revert back to your email. And some professors have very specific criteria of selecting only people with 9 plus GPA. Some professors uh, only work on year-long or semester-long projects, while some professors are more flexible with the duration of internship. And talking about the experience and prior knowledge, prior knowledge of the domain is a must. I mean, don't reach out expecting they will guide you from scratch. So go through online courses for clearing your fundamentals or building up your foundational knowledge. It is also advisable that you have some re related projects in your resume that that actually give an idea that you have knowledge about the field you're applying for. 
and do and one thing which can give you brownie points is that do read the professor's prior research in order to justify why you want to work under their guidance if you already have an idea in mind that you would like to work on uh, you can try discussing it with the professor as well so he might allow you work on your idea or he might assign you a project so it can go either ways i'll just write it down online courses projects and prior research now one method for applying is the good old cold emailing technique you can visit the faculty page and figure out the professors working in your field of interest then send an email mentioning your interest your achievements experience and inter intention for mailing you can easily get this cold email template from any senior who's uh, who is planning to pursue masters and i have also added the links for the faculty pages in the description now in iits the professors also hire summer interns which is a proper two month summer internship where you get access to the iit labs and you you get a two month stay at uh, one of the ho hostels at iit and then you can work as a summer intern and a professor at triple it there are different methods so there's a triple it summer research program so all the professors mention the projects they will be assigning to their mentees and you can go on the website and apply for specific projects and once you apply for these specific projects the professor sh uh, shortlists the students and if they want they take an interview or something and then you get to work under their guidance now in triple it there are also research groups and there are a lot of research groups like midas is one and they have a very specific recruitment process they assign an online assignment and the shortlisted people have to give interviews and so they have different groups on i guess twitter and different places where where they regularly update if there's an opening or they they want someone for any research position and so you can follow all these pages for regular updates i'll add as many links as possible in the description you can just go and follow these pages and uh, for for these research groups you can try directly cont uh, cold emailing the professors in charge as well but that that might be dicey that you might in, in the sense you might receive a reply or you might not but these recruitment processes are proper processes now talking about the interviews interviews are specifically based on the domain you are applying so go before applying and giving all the setting for the procedure just go through some online courses hosted by stanford or mit open course where or maybe coursera and then clear all your fundamentals and the foundational knowledge and then i think you should be good to go for the interviews Uh, i guess that's all from my side and as always if i missed anything do mention in the comment section and i will try my best to resolve your queries so with this i'll end this video and hope to see you in the next video thank you stay safe and keep learning